Head Tap. Head Tap? You're okay. The only one. First of all, why? Why the name Head Tap? The name says it for itself. When I see it. How old are you? 15. Shit, what's your social security number? <laughs> oh, shit. Head Tap. I'm not gonna lie. First time I met you. That Chrissy Pets Firework Day. First thing I thought, I was like, this nigga has to be on Molly. Because you was going crazy. Like, literally, every time you came up to me, like, like I swear you literally shook me like i was like nigga, what the <laughs> f no the first interaction i really saw you in you're on one street a bunch of other black niggas are on the other street you just keep saying this this k this this k i'm thinking like bro what is happening bro nigga, am i in new york fuck the ops man we look for them every day you look for them every day we look for them every day when you're looking for the ops do you just think to yourself like why am i doing this nah oh so it's just look for the ops i'm doing the right thing it's enjoying my heart should have catch one of them. Really? Should have caught it. Man, you ever experienced Christmas or something? Like, how did the origin story with your off season begin? All right, so I grew up on the south side, eh? I lived a good life, playing some ball. Then two twos one day came. A nigga tried to beef me, you mm -hmm. know? I started crushing him. Then, like, something in my heart told me, like, this is your happiness. This is your peace, you know? What about that moment stood out to you? It's just like... Yeah, I have to, I have to recreate this shit. Thanks. For me, for example, like, I first went on Pornhub, uh, I wasn't really fucking with it. And then I saw Bella Danger just throwing that shit back on the nigga. <laughs> oh, my, hey, 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 yo! But what was that for you, you know? I don't know, really don't know how to explain it, man. It's just like, the way of Toronto. This is a very bad place now. Uh, what about it is bad? Uh, everybody. Everybody thinks they're that guy. They think they're the shit. Do whatever they want. Fuck up the city. What way? Like, vandalism or? Violence. You heard what I'm drinking and shit said. Make Toronto great again. What do you think the city needs to go in order for that to happen? Yo, the politics have to die down. I can't lie. Every day it's a new turn, you know? If somebody said you're a part of the problem, what would you say to them? If I'm a part of the problem, I'll yeah. knock them out. Do you think you're like resolving shit in Toronto? Like, would you say you're a part no. of the positive impact? What do you say? No. No? I mean, a lot of people tell me I'm a very bad person, you know? So, yeah. 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 I don't believe that. What do you do that's good? Wait, re repeat your question. Uh, Ebony or BBW? Oh, shit, no. Yeah, um, Ebony, I got you that one, though. Okay. <laughs> but nah, how are you bettering the community? Honestly, and the thought of it, mm -hmm. help out the people that are in need, you know? Fam, I just see, like, a buck on the street, you know? They want something, just pay me $20, I got you. Type shit, type shit. Hey, can I hold a 20 real quick, though? Huh? Um, the kid <laughs> from Bleecker from my last video was entitled Trying the Worst Rated Food in Jamaica. You know what it was. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The nigga, Sunrise, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You fuck with Sunrise, by the way? Nah, nigga, that shit's ass. At the very beginning, the intro of the video, it's like he had beef with the whole Toronto. He said, this, this, K, this, K. I ain't gonna say it, because you feel me, but I feel like you feel very strongly about that clip. Because he's a bitch. Fam, there's a video of this you. He's dropping 3-0-K on the train. Just bitching out. Like, my broski was literally going up to the man saying, you're going to slap me, right? And then, fam, the man filmed the video. You're from Bleecker dropping threes. And man's dropping threes and shit. And I'm like, kid's a bitch. You say you like catching ops. If you ever seen him. Huh? Blur that part out. Blur that part, part out. You would or you did? I will. Just blur that part out, you know? But why the like? You gotta you. learn the lesson. Karma comes back. If you get back to him, won't shit come back to you? He's a bitch. He wouldn't. Do you even care for other gangs? Honestly, I don't really pay attention to them. So, at this point, I'm just trying to like, find myself again, you know? Find yourself. Doors. How are you finding yourself you nowadays? Know, all this time on house arrest, you know, I've been thinking, you know? Do I really want to be in jail? Or on housey for the rest of my life, where like man could really go make it out the hood, move out Toronto, go to the states, live in Florida, get some wicks, dreadlocks, you know? Yeah. Which I can't do that though. I can't get dreads. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. You like you like white or something? Nah. But you're basically saying like sometimes in your head you believe in pursuing the American dream. What? Um. Damn. You smell that? I hear police sirens. Oh, Small no. pigs, I mean. Nah, that's my armpits. <laughs> uh, but no, nah, like, what I was saying is, sometimes think to yourself, damn, I don't really like this lifestyle I'm living. Like, I don't want to be yeah, happy. Yeah, no, I'd be thinking about that. And I mean, I used to be a baller. I can't really get back into balling. You know, I could dunk and all of that. You can dunk? Yeah. I thought you. Six foot. Position. Small four-door shooting guard. Got a scrap on you? 
When those thoughts do come to your head, though. I really want to pursue those, but, like, the way I'm living right now, I can't, you know? House church is stopping me from going to school, all of that, so I can't really get an education like that, you know? And my school doesn't provide online services, so yeah. I can't even do that. Would you say the system is stopping you more than yourself? A little bit, yeah. But, like, sometimes the mentality, when I go on roads, I'll be like, I have that whole different mentality. I want to go do something. I want to go get this guy, this guy, right? Yeah. And then I'm just home now thinking, like, what's the point of that, you know? Yeah. But at the end of the day, if I really see a nigga I don't like, like, it's wrapped right there. It's like post nut clarity. Huh? After I was done with that Bella Danger video, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? It's like that after, like, three days. Like, what the fuck am I really doing, you know? Yeah. Why get knocked again and go back to the bin? Because I went to the bin two times in 2023, you know? So. How many times you been in total? Two times. Was your social security number? I'm not gonna lie, head tap, like, it just kind of seems like you're kind of just fully immersed in this mentality. Like, for example, yeah, you do say you want to get better, but you just can't because you're just too deep in. Oh. Not really, like, the deep in part. It's just, like, every time I go on roads, it's, like, those thoughts really come to my head, those intrusive thoughts, you know? It makes me think different sometimes. The scenario, the scenery, the lifestyle just makes you think, nah, let me get back to this shit. Yeah. As soon as I came out of jail, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna fuck up the city. Yeah. Then a week after I come out of jail, I'm like, nah. Why? Mm. It's like a toxic relationship. You ever had a toxic ex? Yeah. What was that like? That shit was horrible, fam. Fuck that ex, though. I can't lie. But it was a story that's really um, like. The story? Back in school, we used to be close together and shit, you know? Then she moved all the way to, like, the, where you live, right? <laughs> like, he like yo but like it was to the point where i was young and i wanted it you know but like end of the day shit kept happening one day we broke up she sucked another nigga's dick Damn. and it came right back to me but you know i'm stupid i took her back what was her name so you're saying streets for you is like fam, <laughs> fam honestly i still talk to that bitch to this day so you can't really disconnect, can you? Yeah. I got a little bit of love left in my heart to give all because she, like, she was there, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, in my years of therapy, um, we call that shit pussy whip, nigga. What the fuck you mean? You still want her, bruh? Nigga, I'm all that shit. Do you still want that bitch? No, I don't want her. I don't want her, you know? You said you're hated. Who are you hated by? A lot of people. Who like who? Probably half the city hates me. Half the city, nigga? A lot of people don't like me. Like, why? Why? Why don't niggas like you? Because I'm Head Tap 3OK, the only one in the city. Wait, say that again? Head Tap 3OK, the only one in the city. In the city? That's 3OK? No, not that. I'm Head Tap 3 Like, fam. Right, let me give you the white person terminology because, like, you know, we're in that type of hair. What I mean by Head Tap, nobody else has the name Head Tap but me in the city, right? You sure? Yes. I'm 100% sure. So you're saying if I search up the name head tap right now. You only see mine. I bet a thousand dollars right now. You want a lock? Thousand dollars right now. Where the bro? 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 That's not from Toronto. He's not from Toronto. He's not from Toronto. He's not from Toronto. I'm the only head tap from Toronto. No, 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 no. I'm only head tap from Toronto. I give the name head tap. I give niggas head tap. That's what you see in your slime. I'm the only head tap in the city. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm broke so I can't send any of that money for it. But uh, a lot of people don't like me. Yeah, half of the city is crazy, my nigga. I mean, what did you do? Like you Honestly, do like I don't know why niggas have this much hate for me. I don't know what I've done for them. These guys don't know me personally. Mm -hmm. I don't know them. They just hate me. For what reason? I'm gonna be real. Uh, this uh is very interesting. Would you say they haters or they gen like I'll be real, I'm banned from my city. I actually can't go like a lot of places in my city. Not cause I'm not sanctioned. Because you're banned from every single Walmart, right? Yeah, yeah me yeah, too, yeah. fam. We could relate on that one. Me too. Tie shit, tie shit. But a lot of the things that I did back then are pretty stupid. Like, for example, before this career of being a, a therapist and shit, I was a dentist, a teacher. Yeah, didn't you play in the NHL? Huh? Didn't you play in the NHL? Shit, nigga. My name is PK Subban. <laughs> but when I was a dentist, nigga, I, I literally almost fucked people's teeth up. Like, I literally had to drill and put it towards niggas' mouth. When I was a teacher, I went to every class drunk and literally showed them that I was a registered sex offender. Man, whoa, but, whoa, stay 10 feet away from me with that Oh, no, that, that's all charges. But literally, though. Say so you beat those a lot? Huh? Say so you beat them? Bullets out. F 
Fuck no, nigga. <laughs> But it's like this though. People did have a reason to hate me. Although I did feel the amount of hate was unwarranted. To them, it was, you know what I'm saying, it was everything. Since I should share my story on why I think niggas hate me, you really can't pinpoint any interaction where it's just, you know? Not even. Not even? Break down the the Chrissy Pitts altercation. Right, video so that went viral. I was with the, the nine year old, right? Real kid! That's how you rap your hair! Nigga, go to school, my nigga! That's go to school! Boy. Shout out my nigga Magic Man, even though he switched up. So, alright. Man, him called me. Yo, there's a thing going at Chrissy Pitts. So I'm like, don't say I'm playing with young boy, alright? I like, go there, it's only 10 of us. Then there's 20 of us somehow. Mm -hmm. Then there's just 40 somehow. We're just there to catch people, you know? See who's there, alright? And then, shit, I just went. Famous somehow. Man, it went viral. What's being said there? Alright, so I heard Big Theo K, that was one of my homies, right? Shout out QSAC. And then I guess those are the ops, I guess. I, I don't think I was really there for that part. I can't really? Lie. I was there! Yeah, you heard yeah, the kid. Yeah. Big Theo K, yeah. nigga. Um, this is Victoria's day. Oh shit, I'm right there. Yeah, Were you guys yeah, cheering on each other? Yeah, nah. Nah, can you give the background on that little nigga? Two twos, I met my nigga Huncho SB45. You know, shout out that nigga too. So I met this nigga SB. You know, we started balling up together in his crib. Do a nine year old kid? No, no, no. SB. SB22. Oh, right? okay. And then, yo, I got a knock on the door. Rusty told me, answer. I answer the door. I see an eight year old kid with a fucking spliff in his hand uh -huh. saying, yo, let me ball up. What the fuck, nigga? Fat broski, I lost it. I swear to God, I lost it that day. I'm like, yo, Esme, come to the door right now. And Esme said, let him in. So now I'm sitting with this eight-year-old, and I'm balling up with everybody with him, right? Yeah. I said, why not? Let me just take him to the mall. Let him go steal some shit for me. He started doing it. Then I started taking him to bigger stores. We got bigger shit. Like what? Mary, Balenciaga, Dior, all the time, fam. I get knocked, I go to jail, I come out. Uh -huh. He's in love with 44. He's big twos down, he's big 3L. I'm just here, I'm just looking at this kid. Like, fam, I basically made this kid who he was. Hmm. I took him in underneath my wing hmm. and I showed him how he really was out there. Right? End of the day, man switched up on me. He started pocket teething from my own homies. What does that mean, pocket teething? One day, like me and my homies were at the beach, right? I almost drowned that day. Fam, my homie took off his ski mask and all of that, right? The kid knows not to touch mine, right? Kid sees my homie ski mask, takes the ski mask, puts it, fam, I searched it, like, fam, I life searched the kid, I made him take off his shirt and all of that, right? Yeah. Not his pants and shit, like, that's gay. I searched him, I searched his bag, it's not there. Uh -huh. Like, what, four hours later, I get a snap? I just think KB's mask and he's dropping fives, twos, this and that. I feel like ever since Chrissy Pitts, he's been fucking with these niggas, and then they brainwashed him. One day I can get him back, though, hopefully, make him feel okay one more time. One more time? So we can switch back? No, not no. permanent. But why do you want him back? Like, is there something about the jit? Fam, like, it was just me and him on a couple of days, you know? And we're just on roads doing our thing, getting our money, getting food, this and that. Yeah. And then it was like one day, everything just switched up. And then I was like, I mean, me and him grew up differently, you know? I mean, I may have started smoking at like eight, like, you know, back in the days, you get a piece of paper from the community center. Roll the paper, smoke the paper one time, you get the ash in your lung, then you quit. Yeah, I can't relate to that, but keep well, going. He lives in the suburbs. Yeah. I grew up in the Finch. And then, uh, yeah, like, I can see the difference. Like, he's gonna get brainwashed by other niggas. Man, the man really called me his big bro one time. I was like, fam. I never had a you really call me their big bro, you know? So, like, one of those. What's your relationship with, like, uh, your parents? Fuck. My dad, yo, that nigga just told me, stop going to jail, this, that. I mean, I live with my dad my whole life. I love my dad a lot, you know? My mom, like, she came my life when I was, like, 11, you know? Because she wasn't in the country. She was out of the country. Idiot, you know? I never really got that close with her, you know? When I went to jail, I started having, having those jail phones. Fuck, I guess you, you could say we got close. She bailed me out. Fam, I stopped talking to her. Why? I don't know. Well, why do you think, if you had to guess? I got too happy when I came out. It's fun, happy. Um, alright, give me one second. One second. Yeah, you good. Let's get 
Feeling or showing pleasure or Wouldn't your mom want to see you happy? Yeah. She always told me that but like I kept fucking up, you know. Okay, first time I got knocked, my condition was 10 p.m. curfew. I get arrested. That's a breach because I never complied with the release orders. So that's a fail to comply, aka breach. Breached again on house arrest. Breached again on house arrest. Breached another time on house arrest. Then breached again. Now I'm here. So basically, you just kept fucking up. Yeah. Do you uh, try and better your relationship or is it just one of them where it's just. Yeah, I, don't really I don't really talk to my mom anymore. Like, if I'm to see me around the house or say good morning and shit, but like, I never really had a conversation with her, you know? Yeah, I just started staying by myself, you know, and then... Do you feel like the world's against you? I wouldn't say the whole world, because I have those couple niggas that are right beside me, you know, that stand against me. I wouldn't say it's me against the world. Other than those couple people, you, you, you don't think anybody's with you, though? No, not at all. Would you say you feel alone a lot? I wouldn't say I feel alone a lot. I always have myself, you know? I learned how to not be alone with myself, and shit just happened. Yeah. I started getting these thoughts, the thoughts came, I did what the thoughts told me to do, and then it's end up places I don't want to be. Do you ever regret anything? I regret a lot. Like what? Living the lifestyle I live. Smoking, yeah. drinking, yeah. drugs, all of that. Fam, sometimes you, I really be thinking about myself. And when I used to live with my grandma in the in the lane, I'd be like, trying to look at my picture, be like, yo, I used to be a happy kid. Like I used to be doing this and that, be with my friends at the playscape, doing our thing. And then I don't know how I became this way, but it's just fucked up with a lot of people. What's stopping you from, I don't know, progressively getting back to that happy kid? Most of my politics, not not the politics and my politics, cause I'm not gonna because I'm three okay. You fuck with Trudeau bringing all these Indians in? Nah, nigga. You see Brampton, Broski, those Walmart's be fucked up. <laughs> be fucked up. <laughs> my politics, you know, not just the pol my politics. The people that don't like me, you know. I feel like, see, if I was really doing good, eventually that one bad day's gonna come, and you know, man's could die, man's could live. Every day is a new option, you know? Do you think that uh, you're a good person? Fuck. For me, myself, yeah. A lot of people say I'm a bad person. The people that really know me, they know I'm a good person, but like, it's the people that's like around me sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. Fucks up my mentality. Would you ever become a Jehovah's Witness? What the fuck is that? I'm not going to lie. I was uh, uh, recruited into one of them shits. I'm trying to get that shit off me. That's actually why I have this suit. You trying to switch outfits and you start going house to house and teasing people about the Lord? I mean, you can switch outfits right now. I mean, I could wear the jacket, I'll give you the hoodie. For real? What was your life as a kid, Nick? Shit. Shit. Honestly. A lot of drug deals. Why are you holding your shit like that, fam? What are you saying? Oh, no, my hand cold as fuck. Okay, I didn't hang out with nobody. I always be at home watching YouTube and shit. Yeah, bro, I just I ended up here being a sight for you. I'll give you the little invoice after this stuff. I have one more question for you. Go on, fam. Why didn't you touch the stuff? Huh? Why did you touch your foot? I don't smoke. You have to touch the split. You said what? You have to touch the split. I have to touch the split. Is it okay? I have no loud on me right now. I wouldn't have smoked it. You, you would have had to, fam. Oh, what? You saying, bro? Are you moving? Like you said or what? I just gotta smoke the split for like you know. Later on in your lifetime, you know, you know, fuck. Nah, I can't. Don't smoke a split. You know, one day when you're up, smoke a cigar. Mm. You know, get a Henny bottle in your hand. Do you drink? No. Just have the Henny bottle in your hand. It's like, honestly, you seem like you're a pretty cool kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're level-headed. Yeah, yeah. Level-headed, that's... Oh, that's a stretch. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be real, bro. You are, you are pretty crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, literally, my nigga, I thought you was on drugs the first time I met you. But I guess you're just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm not like everybody else. Hear me out. Gotta be different. No, hear me out. Hear me out. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, wants to do good, you know what I'm saying? They want the betterment of their people, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you want the best for your people and the best for yourself, but a lot of the only thing that's holding you back is yourself. That's really inspirational. 
Inspiration. I don't got this job for a reason, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You think I just went to Value Village, saw the price on this, couldn't afford it, went to another tag and swapped tags just so I could get the suit? I believe the... you did that shit. Huh? <laughs> I believe you did that <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Head tat, though, listen, I got this job for a reason. You know, I, I see the good in people, you know what I'm saying? I see the good in you. You know, all that, this, this, K, this, this, K, I don't think you really, truly mean any of that. No, I, I, I truly, from my heart, I'm Theo Kid. Okay. Theo Kid's like that, man. No, bro, why does everybody hate 3L? Fuck those Theo niggas. Fuck those rap boys. What's the story why everybody hates them? <sighs> Fuck, it just depends where you grew up, you know? Hmm. A lot of blocks in Toronto are Theo Kid, you know? A lot of people came to Theo Kid. So, like, I'd say it's like 50 50, you know? Half is 3 L, half is 3 Kid, but I feel like there's more 3 Kid people than 3 L. Hmm. Do you fuck with Pressa? No. Nah. Doobie? Yeah. I know who Doobie is. Uh, Regent Park? And I got some dogs from there. People I know, like, a good certain amount of people from Regent, you know? Yeah, I'm banned from there. Why are you banned from Regent? Long story, long story. It all started one day with a light-skinned girl. I swear, like, I met her right we were talking. She got my number, and then... I Subscribe if you want to hear the rest of the story, bitch. That nigga. How's it like in jail? Kind of boring being in the room all day. But when you go to like a living range, you got a PS4 and that shit. What? I swear you got 2K23. Huh? Any things that you want to get off your chest? Deepest thoughts right now. Fuck the bleaks. Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you fuck with jungle? GGGK. To the fullest. I'm smoking foolish. I can't lie. That nigga's deep inside my lungs. G32. Matter of fact, G41's a rat. Leave it at that. Those kids are bitches. They seen me in person. They didn't do shit. I f***ed one of them too. Blur that. Blur that one out. F*** one of them. Make sure to blur that one out. Thoughts on Brampton? <laughs> Would you ever take down an Indian bitch? <laughs> Oh, you're funny. No. No? But why? It's a, why wouldn't you fuck an Indian bitch? Yo, my nigga, they're stinky, fam. Yo, you ever been walking down Brampton, go to a plaza, get a sniff of that, that curry? <laughs> Boy, well, listen, well, listen, well, listen. It's not even from a restaurant, fam. It's from the actual people. <laughs> but I wouldn't, but like, to be honest, yo. Yo, I'm on, I'm on the vlog right now. What's poppin'? Let me, let me talk on this thing real quick, bro. Say something, broski. Yeah, you don't know, man. Just smoking on Tebow, my nigga. You got a guy. Crazy, I'm smoking on Tebow. I'm smoking on LG. Smoking on Twix. Smoking on T. Smoking on Washi. <laughs> Yo, broski, state your name on your block right now. Broski, where you going know from, my nigga? I'm from the town, my nigga. You don't know, my nigga. Here in the fucking cup, my nigga. How would you uh describe head tap in one word? Bam. Head tap, you know? The man's my dogs, you know, the man's a nice person, they kill the homies, but like, you know, you don't want to get him on the bad side, bro. Alright, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, bro. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, love. What's your hobby? I love playing 2K. I like playing ball, I like smoking a lot, you know. Who do you need to be touching my lungs? Wow. Just like every day. Alright, well. I get that kick, like, sometimes okay, the, fam, yeah. sometimes the yeah. grubble, who times is the grubble, right? The grubble be like, whoo, that should be hit, like, Alright, 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 Tell them not to, my nigga, because you literally say to kill them, my nigga. Like, sometimes hate is warranted, but it's how you handle it. You know what I'm saying, Head Tap? Yeah. Head Tap, I think you're a great person, man. You, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of potential, you know what I'm saying? You could dunk at six foot. That's amazing. The next step for you, man. NBA. You guys want to go to the NBA? Actually. What's stopping you? Tristan. You ever think to yourself, damn, mad people hate me? What if? Niggas actually just come up on me one day and... Death. What can I do? Death. When you say you accepted death? I accept it. I'm dead right there. You wanna pack me, shoot it. Pull the trick. 
Like, my last words are gonna be suck your mom. You wouldn't try to plead for like life? No, nah, nigga, I ain't begging for this shit. Either just bare niggas, or if it's one nigga, I'm, I'll DA him. I swear to God. Exactly. I'll take a stick and beat it at him. But like, you see, if it's bare niggas and they have bare bits pointing at my face, I'm mean, like, ski, suck your mom. That's it. You think you're here for a reason? Yeah. Everybody's here for a reason. I mean, you're here for a reason. He's here for a reason. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. After you gave me that address and it was fucking an hour away, nigga, I thought the reason I was here was to get lined and shit, fucking get everything taken. Yo, you, you be saying that to about everybody. You thought fucking Crow to a lot was gonna fucking yeah. line you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Keep going. You thought I was gonna line you. Yep. Yep. Let me find out <laughs> yep. that you said in that video, I'm gonna line you. Nah, nah, this is a safe place, man. I feel safe, bro. I feel safe. I, nice. I feel like you definitely said you're gonna get lined at the start of this video. Nah. Look at my face. That's how it doesn't look my guy would say I Yes. You goddamn right, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs>